So overall, if I lost the ball leveler or it got stolen, would I buy it again? All right, so we've used this ball tire leveler for going on three years now. We've used it on two different pop-up cambers and it's worked awesome. Put it under the low side and then ratchet it up and it lifts the low side tire and then you can get the trailer level left to right and then you use the tongue jack to go front and back and it's worked awesome i would highly recommend it it's super simple especially for these lightweight trailers that you can lift the tire up it makes leveling the trailer very simple and if you want to dive deeper with other rvers about all things rv diy projects gear reviews travel locations anything rv come on and join us over at the rv gear and far group I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below. We'd love to have you. Two things I want to talk to you about specifically with the ball lever though is, uh, one, it doesn't come with any sort of carrying case. I've seen a lot of people use a insulated pizza box. You know, they kind of get delivery pizza in and this fits in there perfectly. It's a great solution. However, I wasn't interested in spending on an insulated pizza box to store this ball lever. So what I did is I went to the dollar store and I got a pool noodle. Cut it to length of the spindle and I slide it on over. When um, this is in the camper, that spindle with all the grease is covered and protects the spindle and the camper from getting grease everywhere. And then when we're using it, it stores right on top. So I don't have to store a extra bag anywhere or anything. The second thing I want to talk to you about is the ratchet that comes with the ball leveler. It's complete junk. Um, just plan on if you're going to buy this for your camper that you're going to need a standalone ratchet. Um, I used it maybe twice and it just fell apart. So no, you're gonna have to buy a ratchet. And I suggest you buy one that you can keep with this uh, because if you lose that, you're not really gonna be able to use the ball leveler. So get a, get a ratchet that you can leave with the ball leveler and get yourself a, a dollar pool noodle to cover and keep that away in storage. So overall, if I lost the ball leveler or it got stolen, would I buy it again? Absolutely. I would go get another pool noodle and I'd make sure I had a dedicated ratchet, but I would absolutely spend the money to buy this ball leveler. It has made leveling our pop-up camper significantly easier than every other method that we've seen. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the tip, go ahead and click that like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever used a ball leveler or are you thinking about using it for your camper? Until next time, take care and pay it forward.